Good afternoon everybody and welcome once again to my shed of radio controlled goodness. Well, we've got something a little bit different again for you today. Uh, this is from a company called Hawedgen, I believe. Uh, it's the W606 Volcano. It's a small size drone with a very neat controller. So um, let's have a look in the box and uh, see what we get. Okay, so in the box we have the drone itself, a very neat little design we've got here with foldable little arms that come out. A USB charger uh, with a micro lossy connector. Uh, obviously this can go into your computer USB socket for charging or one of the wall adapters with a 5 volt uh, USB socket. Uh, the battery we have a 3.7 380 milliamp battery uh, the size of which will be just over 40 millimeters long by 29 and a bit millimeters wide so if you could find spares uh, not necessarily this ma H rating, but if you can find spares of that size, then uh, you could use those as well. Right, on to the novel bit about this drone. We have the controller itself. And this is what attracted me to it. I'll just put that on my fairly thick thumbs and my finger. And as you can see, that goes round there now this is one of these uh, sensitivity gyros so have you as you move your hand the drone will go left if you move it to the right it will go right forward and backwards this is your throttle stick if you like or this would be your if you're in mode 2 this would be your throttle stick and your your stick so up down and this will be to your right, uh, left, and this will be to your right. Uh, this is to start and stop the drone, and if you press and hold, it will go into a flip mode. So uh, let's put this together, and there's a small little battery here, and that's going to go into. I should add that, that this drone does not have any. Um, camera on it at all it's just an ordinary fun little drone for you to uh, muck around with but uh, I thought it was a really novel design let's turn that off this is the switch button by the way this is the main on off switch um, this as far as I'm aware doesn't do anything right so oh yes by the way um, we have the manual here uh, a little bit of English but nothing there that uh, you experienced drone users wouldn't be able to uh, understand it's, uh, it's all fairly basic and it's um, yeah fairly good uh, nothing to write home about okay so let's turn the drone on you can see it's flashing there uh, to turn the unit on let's turn it on to bind with the drone and to calibrate it you need to turn this unit 180 degrees like so so that is now bound uh, and it's calibrated as well so let's take this out of garden for a, a very quick flight um, the, hopefully the wind is not going to be too bad we can uh, just do a little bit of footage and uh, show you how it flies and uh, I can demonstrate the flip functions for you as well so see you in the garden okay everyone so uh, here we are ready for a little test flight with this thing and we're it's all bound up ready to go so um, here we go for a little uh, flight around the garden and quite a nice stable flyer
and although it's not overly precise it's quite um, it does what you tell him tell it to do I'm sure there's a flip function here somewhere there we go yeah, so press and hold this button here. <laughs> right, so lower the fold just slightly. <laughs> not a bit of damage not a bit of damage okay so what we do is uh, recalibrate that see the lights flashing there and we go again there's uh, there's no no rates on this at all that I can find so it's just you get just the one rate and you control it with the actions of your hand up with the throttle down up and we will go so forward to the left your left Uh, the wind's picking up a little bit now, so it is affecting it. There's a general proportional reaction to the movements of, of my hand. But yeah, good enough for what it is and what it costs. Just a full back. Quite stable. Quite stable. I've got to mention this has got height hold. It's a shame it hasn't got a little camera on it, but uh, when I first got this, I thought this did have a camera. I thought that's what the, um, the, the lens was on the front, but it's not. It doesn't do, actually do anything. I think it's there just to show. So, double click to land. Oh well. Good, there we go, finally. Okay, right, let's take this in and give him a final thought. Well, that's a fun little flight. I've flown it a couple of times, not in this strength of wind, but uh, I, overall, I, I can't help being impressed by the design and the technology which has gone into this little thing. Let's just turn that off. Um, this is quite intuitive, um, and it's very easy um, to uh, get, to use, get used to. This reminds me of the Ishin 56, uh, you know the one that comes with the single handy controller. 
um, very much in that vein um, it is something you can get used to um, this I like um, and you can get used to this as well although the instructions you give this drone via this unit tend to go a little bit wishy-washy as the battery life drains away uh, but I do like the design it's very well thought out as it happens just as a stroke of luck I don't have to buy any spare batteries for this because having a look through my spare battery box I've already got two spare 380 milliamp 3.7 volt batteries so I can use those so I can go out flying them a couple of times instead of just the once but uh, all in all for the price I paid for it I think it's about 20 pounds something like that so uh, US I suppose you'd be looking at 25 27 dollars maybe um, very very good it's a fun little thing there's no special features for it like a camera um, this I don't think does anything at all there's there's nothing there and there's nothing to in the instructions to indicate that um, this this lens that appears to be a camera does anything at all I don't think there's there's a there's certainly no way of uh, recording it via Wi-Fi or anything there's no app that comes with it it's just a fun little drone to keep you amused and for the price well I think it's worth it um, with Christmas coming up it's something you might want to consider giving your little ones uh, certainly with these built-in propeller cards uh, propeller guards you're not going to do any damage even if you went into uh, something at full pelt um, on a wider open space than the one I've got in the garden then I'm sure I'm sure you're gonna have lots of fun with this so um, that's my review of the Hwajan W606 number let's have a look of number 16 so this has been recently released so you can get these from Tom Top and gear best and all that sort of thing so thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon cheerio